Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Jeans, bringing you guys more ranked singles battles for Pokemon Sword. As always, if you do enjoy these battles, show it by smashing that like button, clicking that big red subscribe button, and letting me know in the comment section down below. So guys, in today's video, we're actually rocking this Haxorus team right here. This Haxorus team is actually very good for countering Mimikyu's and all that, considering it's rocking Mold Breaker, we, we will get more into that in a second. But this team is actually rocking a Life Dorb Hatterene with Magic Bounce, so that could be fun. We can actually use that to our advantage. We got our Focus Sash, Haxorus with Mold Breaker, and what Mold Breaker allows us to do is hit through, like, Mimikyu's disguise is like SQ's Ice Body and all that good stuff. So it's rocking Iron Tail, which will be super effective in Mimikyu, so we can just sweep it out in one hit. Then we got our Choice Scarf, Dragapult, we got our Leftovers, Corviknight, Rocky Helmet, Hippodon, and we got our Citrus Berry, Fire, Rotom. So guys, I actually saw this team online, I'm going to leave a link to where I get some of my rental teams in the description below, but I did realize it was from another YouTuber, so I'm also going to be leaving his YouTube channel in the description below. Got to give credit where credit is due, but if you guys do enjoy this team, there's a rental code down at the bottom of the screen, you guys can use it up for yourself and all that good stuff. But without further ado, let's get into this video. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, hopping into our first battle right here. This guy is rocking a Frostmouth, Braviary, a Diggers B, Quagsire, Hydreigon, and a Hedorine. Okay, okay, I'm thinking first first glance to my Hippowdon's got to roll in here. My Hippowdon's got to come up big. He's going to rock in definitely in the back end. Who are we going to lead, though? The question is who are we going to lead. I think Dragapult will be the safe lead right here. So we're going to rock out Dragapult in the back end, and then for our final spot... Hmm. Do we go Corviknight or do we go Hatterene? Life Orb Hatterene or Leftover Corviknight is the question. The real question that I do not have answers to right now. <laughs> that I do not have answers to. But we're definitely rocking with that Dragapult in the front spot and going with the Hippowdon in the back. But I think we are probably going to roll out with that Hatterene in the back spot. Our Life Orb Hatterene does seem like a good choice, so that is exactly what we are going to do. Hippowdon coming in, and the Hatterene in the back end. But yo guys, if you do enjoy this content, and you would like to see more, go down to the link in my description below. I have a link to my Twitch, Jeans25 on Twitch. Go follow me over there, I stream 4 plus days every single week. It is always a good time, always a good time. Also, I noticed some comments in the last video that we did the rain team and all that. I know it was a double team, guys. I do know it was double team. I like to mess around with other teams, like using double teams in singles, seeing how they work out and everything, and see if we can get some wins. Because it's always a lot more fun than using those uh, standard staple teams and all that. It's always more fun to just like uh, switch it up and all that good stuff. But here we go. We're hopping into the first battle right here. The first battle. Let's rock out here. I need to upgrade my trainer card. Like I always say, it is literally poo poo in a can. If you open up the can of poo poo, it's literally just my my trainer card pops out. It's just like jeans trainer card poo poo. <laughs> but here you go. Who was he rocking out in that front spot? That high dragon. This is exactly why I went with the uh, the dragon pole in the front spot. This is exactly why it's always a safe lead. And he's choice scarf, guys. He is choice scarf. So the dragon darts could come up big. So we, that is exactly what we're going to do. Or do we go... No, we're just going to go straight for our Dragon Darts. We are Choice Scarf. We're going to save our Dynamax in case we want to swap out of our Choice Scarf Dragapult here. Well, let's go. But that's what I like about Dynamaxing. It forfeits what you Choice Scarf. So if we Choice Scarf da Dragon Darts here, then in the next turn, if we want to um, swap out of her, like say he switches Pokemon. I knew he's going to Dynamax, but say we want to switch out Pokemon, we can actually... Or switch out moves. We can just Dynamax and then we'll, we'll forfeit our Choice Scarf for that. Three turns and now we can switch up our Choice Scarf move. But here he goes. Rocking out with that Hydreigon. Dynamax. Man. I knew he was going to Dynamax. I should have known. I should have just matched him. We would have murked him up. We do outspeed. We still do outspeed with our Choice Scarf. Doing some work on him. Crit this one. Crit this one, buddy. Crit it. No, we do not get the crit. But we are fine. We are chilling right here. If we can survive this hit... Which, I don't know if we will. But if we do... No, we don't. <laughs> I was going to say, if we do survive this hit, we can actually take him out with the next turn. But dang it, dude. If we would have Dynamax, we would have just took him out. We would have ate him up. That was a smart play right there. But we are going to go into our Hippowdon. Did we go into our Hippowdon? Yeah, we're going to go into our Hippowdon. And I already know exactly what I am going to do. I do know exactly what I am going to do. I'm going to Dynamax here. We are going to set up the sand stream. I'm going to Dynamax here. I'm going to Max Guard back to back. That's what I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for the Max Guard back to back. Actually, we're just going to go for one Max Guard, and then we're going to take him out with the next one. Because the thing is, Max Guards, if you use them consecutively, they might not work. They might not work. 
that's the thing. You can get off with a double max guard, but sometimes it doesn't work. And I don't really want to risk it letting him get a free hit off on me. So that's why we're just going to go for one max guard and then swing at him. But we do still have a Dynamax, which we are going to run right now, which is beautiful, which is beautiful, guys. But if you guys do have other Pokemon or teams that you want me to play, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll probably do them. I read every single comment and I will respond to comments and all that good stuff. So feel free to talk if you have any questions about Pokemon or anything. We just want to talk in general. I don't care. You know, throw some comments around. It's awesome. Let's go. Hit Powder, my boy. Rocking out here. But I noticed you guys have been loving this online battles on the channel and i really do appreciate it make sure you show it by smash that like button clicking that big red subscribe button so you know when i post more but there we go we are going to max guard this dude hit paladin is so strong competitive like i feel like he is so underrated like you guys have no idea do we go for the max guard here hmm. now we're gonna go straight for the max rock ball i do see our hit paladin eating up next turn he is gonna eat this up i know this for a fact he is a tanky little boy look at him Look at him, just an absolute beast right here. And we do get a Dynamax turn for the next one, which is awesome. And we're going to keep the Sandstorm rolling. Our attack's going to fall right here. But that's fine. It's no big deal. We can't always slack off after this and all that stuff, which is awesome. That doesn't take him out. Can the Buffet take him out? Please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I guess that attack debuff did not help us out. But perfect. That Sandstorm did help us out, which is awesome. But our Hippowdon's coming up big here. I wonder who he is going to play. Hopefully, what was his team? I don't think... Oh, he has a Quagsire. That could be tough if he's rocking that Quagsire. That Quagsire could be the death of us. Let's see if he's playing him. He is! No! No, that Quagsire's coming up big. Um, We're going to go into a... We have to max quicker. Our Hippowdon has to do some work against this thing. That is what has to happen. Let's go. Let's see. Come on, boy. But we still do have our Life Orb Hatterene. I'm not going to count this game out yet. But this Quagsire is looking at me all menacingly. This thing's a menace, dude. Like, you see a singing game, you're like, nah, I don't want a Quagsire. But this thing is a beast. All Pokemon can be beasts, depending on how you train them up with the EV trains and the IVs and all that good stuff. But, dude, this thing just has, like, the quirkiest smile on it. And it's hilarious. <laughs> Oh my lord, dude. It is so funny just seeing a smile. I think he's wondering what he should do. He might actually hard swap out. I don't know. But if I was him, I would just rock out with a water move. Unless he's not rocking a water move. Like, what are you doing, big dog? We're all ground. We are all ground. <laughs> what is he doing? Hopefully he just forfeits. I Hopefully he scoots. He's like, dude, that hit pal on is strong. <laughs> Let's see what he does do. We do outspeed the Quagsire, which is awesome. So if we can just survive this hit, I think we should be good. This Max Quick's going to come up. Not do too much work. And I don't know if I should Stealth Rocks for the next turn. But what are we going to raise? We're going to raise our Special Defense, which is nice. He's going to go with the Skull, try to burn us. We do eat that up, which is just wonderful. And what is he? Oh, he's rocking Leftovers, man. He's a Leftovers Quagsire. A Leftovers little Quagsire right here. Um, I don't think he gets buffeted by the Sandstorm, considering he is a... What's it called? A... Park Ground type. So we're just going to rock up with the Stealth Rocks here. I was going to slack off, but... I think we can Stealth Rocks eat up a hit and then go into an EQ. I think that's the play. Depending on his next Pokemon, this Stealth Rocks could actually come up big for us. It can't come up big for us. Let's go. Skull is going to pop off here. We're going to eat that up. Eat it up, buddy. Oh, we do eat up. Don't you dare burn me. I hate this game. I hate this game. Just working in his favor right here. Just working in his favor. Joke. Absolute joke right here. We're going to go down to the burn. Of course he gets the burn. Of course he gets the burn. The Bernie Sanders does come out here. And we're going to have to actually have to rock out into our Hatterene right here. And go into our Psychic. That is our plan. I don't know if I should throw a Trick Room. Do I throw a Trick Room? It's a, it's a play call. I think we do throw a Trick Room. This could actually come up big in the end. We're going to start off with a Trick Room because Hatterene is one of the slowest Pokemon in this game. And this build is very slow. That's why we're rolling Trick Room with the Hatterene. So this guy has two Pokemon left. If we can roll out with the Hatterene right here with get the Trick Room, we could be chilling. Okay, that's fine. We actually might kill ourselves to the, what's it called? To the Life Orb. To the Life Orb. But Sandstorm does subside, which is nice. That actually works out in our favor. Right there, that, that Sandstorm was helping him out. He's going to go into it leftovers. But we're going to start taking out this fool right here. I know I will outspeed, and I will get the next two hits off on him. But we're going to go into a Psychic. If we can take him out in two hits and not kill ourselves with the Life Orb, we could be chilling, potentially, depending on what Pokemon he is actually rocking out. Let's see. Let's see. Psychic is going to pop out here. Come on, do some work. Do some work. Take him out. Oh, no. No. 
No, dude. This thing's gonna recover. Oh, are you kidding me? I wish that thing would have took it out. Right, we will be able to take it out this turn right here. Which actually could have actually saved us. He should have just hit us. If he would have hit us, that could have actually made the life form actually take us out. But we will take out this guy right here with this psychic, which is just awesome. The, t the trick room actually could come up clutch here. I got to know what his last Pokemon is. He could hard swap. I could see him hard swap and trying to waste out this trick room right here, which would be smart by him. But hopefully he just lets us take out his Quagsire. Look at his little face, dude, just blinking. He's like, bloop, bloop. <laughs> <laughs> thing's hilarious the thing is absolutely hilarious come on pick a move there we go second gonna pop out here bye bye quagsire quagsire is gonna go down and we will roll out first turn in this next thing we do get a crit even though we didn't need it it would have took it out regardless regardless of what it would have took it out what is this thing rolling what is this guy rolling come on come on you gotta throw it out it's your only pokemon why are you trying to let's see let's see oh the diggers b are we super effective to this Show it to me. Show it to me. We are not. We are not. Well, that's more base power. No, we got to go with this. Lowering his special defensive stat. Can we whoop on this thing? I think this thing is a physical. No, that thing's trying to go for a quick attack here. Oh, my Lord. Does some work on us. We got to take him out here. Take him out. Come on. Do it. Boom. Let's go. Let's go. Clutch trick room right there. And we survived with one HP. Are you kidding me? Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how it's done. Here we go. Second battle coming at you guys. This guy's rocking a Frost Maw, Sir Fetch, Dragon Pulp, Grim Snarl, Inteleon. I could see that thing being a light clay, Inteleon. And what is this thing called again? I forget. Is it Whimsicott? No, it's not Whimsicott. I forget. Oh, it's Elder Goss. Elder Goss, that's what it is. I believe it's Sir, it's Sir Fetch Part Steel. Because in that case, we will be bringing our Hatterene in this battle also. We are also going to be rocking out with our... Do we roll out? No, we're not going to roll with our Rotom. Rotom's going to sit on the sideline once again. We're going to be rolling out with our Hexorus. We're going to go with our Hexorus. We're going to lead with our Hexorus. Actually, no, we're not because I can see him leading with that Grimmsnarl. I could see him leading with that Grimmsnarl. In that case, we might lead with the... I think I'm going to bring Hippowdon. And maybe I might just lead with the Hippowdon. Mm, I don't know. He could be leading that, um, either that Inteleon or the, what's it called? The Grimstarl. That's what I see him leading with. The Inteleon, Grimstarl, or the Dragapult. But we're going to go with the Hippowdon, Haxorus, Hatterene. Did we just do that? No, we had our Dragapult. No, we didn't. Actually, we're going to go with the Corviknight. We're going to go Haxorus, Corviknight, Hatterene. And we're going to lead with our Corvo. That is the plan. That is the plan. Hatterene, get in there. Hatterene comes up so big in the last match. I love it. I love it a lot. But we're going to rock out with this thing, with our Corviknight. Considering this guy doesn't have any fire Pokemon, maybe his Dragapult is rocking Flamethrower. If he does start off with that Dragapult, we will just hard swap out. It's really no big deal. Not my problem. It's fine. But we would know he's going for a fire move, and then we can swap out into maybe our Hexorus or something. Let's see. Who is he going to lead with? He does lead with the Inteleon. Perfect. This is who I originally did think he was actually going to lead with, which is fine. This thing could be rocking Ice Beam, but I don't think it does too much damage considering we are flying type. We're going to go straight into a bulk up. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to bulk up here. I can see this thing rocking out with a uh, Light Clay, so I think it could either drop a Reflect or a Light Treen or swap out. That's what I think it's going to do. I don't think it's going to pop off a uh, Ice Beam right off the bat. Let's see what this thing does. We are leftovers. We are leftovers. Let's go. Dark Pulse is going to... Wow. Wasn't expecting it to rock a Dark Pulse there. But we do eat it up. And we're able to get a nice little bulk up here. But the real question is... Do I... What's it called? The attack is going to raise and the defense is going to raise. And we're going to get our leftovers. Beautiful. Do I bulk up again? It's the real question. We might bulk up again. I think we're going to bulk up one more time here. Because our defense is up here, and that was a physical attack move. Dark Pulse is going to come out here. We're going to eat it up again, and we're going to go for another bulk up. Our defense is up, but there we go. We're going to bulk up here, and then we're going to roost our next turn. We're going to roost our next turn, for sure. For sure. We are stacking up with this Corviknight right off the bat. I don't know what this guy wants from us. What is he going to do? I don't want him, like, uh, maybe Dynamax and trying to take us out. So that is why we're going to go straight for this roost right here and heal up just a little bit. So now our attack is plus two and our defense is plus two. We are absolutely tanking out here. This thing is going to Dynamax, like I said, and that is why we're going to Roost here. We will take a Roost and then we're going to, uh, we should be able to eat up this shot. I see us eating up this shot. So we're going to eat up this shot right here, considering our defense is up high. And then, um, actually this thing might be rolling us 
Isn't this thing special attack? But I still see us eating this shot up and then going into the roost and then into the Dynamax. Max guy's just gonna pop off here. That's fine by me. It's fine by me. We'll eat it up. We did eat it up. Let's go. Let's go. Dynamax Corvo is going to pop off here. After our roost. Roost was the right call here. It was the right call. Roost is coming in here. Healing us up. What a beaut. And then we can get a little bit of leftovers action here. The reason I did, I didn't want him tapping us up. So, we're going to go into the roost. And now we're going to go straight into the, what's it called? Do we swap out? We might want to hard swap. We hard swap? Because I know it's a special defense. And he's going to go for a water move. Let's see who has a high special defense. Let's see. Let's just see our Pokemon stats real quick. Oh, special defense is alright. Special defense is bad. But our Corviknight is going to eat it up the most. Our Corviknight is going to eat this up the most. So we might as well go into the Dynamax here. We might as well go into the Dynamax. Go into the Max Airstream and raise our speed up. Because if we can actually do that, it could be nice. We can get one speed boost. So then we could be plus two attack, plus two defense. And we can have plus one speed. Which could be beautiful. Stacking up on our Corviknight right now. I think I'm making all the right calls with this thing. Luckily, we did survive that last hit. But this thing will do a little bit more damage when it max guys just once again in the rain. But this is why we did Dynamax. Dynamax we're going to get that health boost to be able to survive this hit. And then I think we're going to be able to take out this bad boy with this next shot. Max guys are going to come out after us. We'll eat this up. We're fine. We're chilling. We are chilling. That a boy, Corvo. That a boy, Corvo. Max Airstream coming out. I think it, we have a chance at one tap in this thing. Let's go. Take it out. Ah! Oh, you hunk a junk. You hunk a junk. This is why we will actually max guard here. But our speed did raise. Our speed did raise. Our leftover is going to go out here. We're going to max guard here. Get a little bit more health here. And take out his Dynamax. I would love to keep this bad boy alive, dude. I would love to keep this thing alive. Max guard is going to come out here. And then we're going to go into another... What's it called? Another max airstream. Because if we do outspeed with that plus one speed, that would be huge. That would put us at plus two speed. And then we can roost into our next turn. That could be the play. But we just got to hope to outspeed this thing. That is what we got to hope to do. We're sitting at 72 health. We're going to go back into another max airstream. Hopefully take this thing out. I would love for this thing to hard swap or something. Give us this first turn. This is what we need. We need to go first. Oh, no. Dark Pulse. Go eat it. Eat it, buddy. Eat it. Go, dude. Let's go. Now we're plus two speed. Inteleon's gone. Plus two defense. Plus two attack. You give me no reason not to roost unless he's throwing out a speedy Pokemon here. Unless he's throwing up a speedy, speedy Pokemon. Maybe with Shadow Sneak or something that goes first. That's what I'm scared for is that Dragapult. Maybe he's rocking that Dragapult, but I want to be able to get off this Roost. So if he throws out anything besides the Dragapult, I can see us getting this Roost off. Let's see. Who are you rocking out with? I wouldn't be surprised if his team has the Dragapult in there. But good play call by me to bring in this Corviknight in the last second. This thing could potentially sweep. It can potentially sleep if he's not rocking Dragapult. Wims. Oh, dude. Dude. Let's go. We're going to Roost right here. We are totally going to Roost. Or do we just... No, Brave Bird would kill us. We're going to go into the roost, get some health back, and then leftovers on top of that. We should outspeed, right? Yeah, there we go. Like I said, we got that plus two speed. Roost is coming in. Corviknight, my boy. Let's go. We should be able to eat up this next shot. It's going to go with Synthesis. Isn't this just a heal move? <laughs> oh, we. Oh, we. This guy screwed up big time. I can see him hitting the bounce of Boogie and scooping because we were just going to roost again and then going to a Brave Bird. Oh, my lord. Oh my lord. Roost again. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god. This guy's definitely gonna hit the quit button. He knows we are rocking out. Dude, double bulk up and then double max airstream. He's gonna go into the cotton guard. I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters. What are you gonna raise your defense? You're gonna raise your drastically, it actually does, but it's fine. We're gonna go into the Brave Bird right here. You can't really do too much damage to us. I think this thing's just gonna cotton guard up and try to keep cotton gardening. But let's go. Brave Bird coming out. Yay. Nice damage. That would have killed him if he wasn't cotton guarded, which is fine. Oh, Rocky Helmet. Jeez. What move is he going to rock out? Leech Seed. That's actually a beautiful move. That's actually a beautiful move. We are just going to go into the Brave Bird. Do we? Yeah, we're going to go into the Brave Bird and just finish him off here. Or what's our other move? Will our other move actually finish this thing off? I don't think so. I don't. I don't know. I'd rather play it safe, go into the Brave Bird, and go, uh, go up 3-1. Iron Head, eh. Yeah, Brave Bird's to play. Even though this thing is rocking a Rocky Helmet, we will be able to take this thing out right here. Say night-night to him. And I think we should be able to survive the Rocky Helmet 
the recoil and the leech seed. Actually, he doesn't get the leech seed. He is dead. So yeah, we will be able to survive this. And then we can just roost up once again next turn. Do we even have to use another Pokemon? Do we even have to use another Pokemon in this battle? Absolutely dominating right here. This guy made some bad play calls. I can see him quitting and leaving and calling it quits. <laughs> Yo, that's hilarious. Who is his last Pokemon? His last Pokemon is the Frostmoth, dude. This is game. This is game. We're going to go straight into a bur uh, Brave Bird and just end it. We're just going to go straight into a, a Brave Bird. Just end it because I know we will. We will outspeed. We're plus two attack. This is Night Night. GG. Corbin is a sweep. Corvo sweep right there. That is how it's done. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Putting on a show for you guys today. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's hop into this third match and actually continue on with our win streak. Well, I'm hoping we can. Let's go do this. Third match coming at you guys. This guy's rocking an Arcanine, Dragapult, Corvette, Galarian, Rapidash. Don't see much of this. An Eldegoss once again. And a Rotom Wash. Okay. Okay. I see him either leading with that Arcanine or the Rotom Wash. Or maybe the Corvo. But we're going to be leading with our Hippowdon. We're going to have Hippowdon in this match. Or you know what? Or do we lead with our Rotom? We're going to lead with our Rotom. Our Fire Rotom. Yeah, we're going to lead with our Fire Rotom. Bring the Hippowdon in here. And then I think we're going to get the Haxorus rolling in here. Yeah, that is the plan. Let's get it. Let's get it. The only downside is I think he's going to bring in that Galarian Ponyta. That's going to be our toughest little opponent right there. But we're leading with this. What is this? Oven Rotom? I forget his name, but I know it's Rotom Wash over there because he's a washing machine. Is this Rotom Oven? Rotom Stove? <laughs> I don't know, but here we go. Hopping into our third match here. Can we get this three win streak rolling? I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Let's go, guys. Let's get it here. Let's roll out. Who's going to start off with the Arcanine? I knew he was starting off with Arcanine. I should have rolled out with the what's it called? The Hippowdon. The Hippowdon would have did some work, but that is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to rock out. We're going to go straight into a Bolt Switch here. We're, no. Ooh. Mm. This guy's a fire Pokemon. Do we confuse right or do we go Will O Wisp? Let's go Will O Wisp. We're gonna go for the burn right off the bat. And then we can Volt Switch out. This thing does go for the extreme speed. Do some damage on us. We do eat it up, which is beautiful. We are rocking a citrus, but it doesn't affect him. Are you serious? Looks like we're going for a confuse, right? It looks like we're going for a confuse right here. Dang it, dude. I didn't know that it doesn't affect Arcanine. Is that his ability? Extreme Speed is gonna pop out here again. It's fine. We are rocking a citrus berry, which we will eat once we go below that green bar. Confuse Ray, it's going to come out here, and now we will actually Volt Switch out of here, which is fine. We're going to hope that this guy actually does some damage to himself, but the Volt Switch is going to pop out here. I'm hoping he actually hard swaps, then we Volt Switch, so then we can know what he is doing. Let's see. He's going to Dynamax. Wow. He's going to go for the Dynamax right here, which is, uh, that's fine by me. I mean, if you take out my, uh, my Rotom right here, I, I don't, I'm, I don't, I'm fine by it. I can roll into my hip out on. And just tee off on you. We can't always do that. Can't always do that. Can a Rotom? Oh, he's confused. Hurt yourself. Hurt yourself. Nope. I don't think they can hurt themselves in those confusions. I don't think they can. But this will actually take out our... Oh, it does not take out our Rotom. Eat it, punk. Eat it. Eat it. Your attack's going to raise. It's fine. We're going to eat our berry. Get some more health. I don't know if we should stay out here. No, we cannot stay out here another turn. Considering we are Volt Switching out. We're going to do a little teensy bit of damage to him. Which will actually do some work. But we did get Confusion. I don't know if they can actually hurt themselves in Confusion while they are in the... What's it called? While they are in the Dynamax. But here we go. We're going to rock out with our Hip Paladon. We're going to go straight into a Dynamax. No doubt about it. Dynamax is going to pop off here. Sandstream is going to start. And this thing is Confused. i never seen a Dynamax Pokemon hit itself in Confusion. So that's why I'm wondering. So if you guys do know, help out your boy in the comment section down below <laughs> here we go we're gonna go right into a max rock ball considering rock moves do get a tiny little boost of damage in sandstorms which is nice what is he gonna do we're, he's not gonna withdraw wow surprise 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 we're gonna go for the dynamax here this is why i said i'm not too worried about him dynamaxing that arcanine he tried to go for the early ko and it could bite him in the rear end in the end right here well, let's see hip howdon's absolute tank dude absolute unit dude i'm in love with this pokemon he's gonna snap out of his confusion he's gonna roll out with a max flare don't we eat this thing up i think he's just trying to change the weather but we do eat this up yeah no problem whatsoever that's fine you can change the weather but we're just gonna change it right back with this max rock fall so no big deal no big deal max rock fall popping out 
against this thing. Let's go. Bye bye, Arcanine. Actually, no. This thing actually eats up. He actually eats it up way better than I thought it would. But now we're going to start the Sandstorm once again. And this thing should be done his turns, right? Is this thing done his turns? Or he has one more? He has one more. We're going to go into a Max Quake. This Max Quake does do a lot more. And it can drop his uh, special defense. Considering we already have that Sandstorm mode, you give me no reason not to roll out into a Max Quake. The Max player is going to come out here again. Trying to set that drought, which is fine. Which is fine. We'll eat that up. This is the plan. We'll eat that up. And then we're going to slack off next turn. That, that, that is our plan. Hopefully, we can actually take this thing out with this Max Quake. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Max Quake popping out. Come on. Take it out. Take it out. Let's go. Beautiful. We get one extra Dynamax turn, and we are going to set the Sandstorm with that turn right here, and we are going to actually raise our special defense, which is beautiful. We are just running through with this team. This team is phenomenal. This team is phenomenal. But like I said, this team can also counter Mimikyu's very, very well, so we actually haven't been able to show that off yet, but... Maybe we will, maybe we won't. If not, it can. It can. This thing's gonna roll out into a regular road time. Oh no, road time wash. I was gonna say. I was gonna say. Uh, ch 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 this thing's rock and levitate. Do we hard swap out? It's gonna go into a water move. It's gonna go into a water move. Hmm. Um. We could max guard. We can max guard. We're gonna go into a max rock fall. We're going into a max rock fall right here. He's gonna go with the Hydro Pump. Can we eat this up? Eat it, buddy! My man, he eats this thing up. And we're just gonna set another Standstorm. Oh, this thing is Life Orb? A Life Orb Rotom? You never see those bad boys. But there we go. We're gonna set the Sandstorm. Do some nice rock damage right there. And can we get a Slack off is the real question. We're gonna hope that this thing misses. This thing's gonna get a nice little buffet by the Sandstorm. Sandstorm is going to kick up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's on. <laughs> but if we get a Slack off here, that could be huge. That could be huge. That is what we're going to... Ah, do we even try to do it? Do we even try to do it? We're going to go for it, considering if he misses, then we're chilling. Let's see what he's going to do. Hydro Pump, miss! Nope, he's got us. Bye-bye, Hippowdon. You did some work, my man. You did some mean work, buddy. I'll take that, dude. This thing's an absolute unit, especially with the Rocky Helmet, physical attack moves. Oh, my God. People just be taking recoil, but this thing is Life Orb, which is fine. Real time's going to get buffeted by the Sandstorm, and we're going to roll straight out into our Haxorus right here. Yeah, we're gonna roll out into our Focus Sash Haxorus. This thing doesn't really have, this Rotom cannot really do much. I can see it Volt switching out. That's why we're gonna go straight for the Dragon Claw in case he's rocking the Dragon Bolt or something. We're gonna break the mold. Breaking it, baby, we're breaking it. And we're gonna roll out. Do we D-Dance? We could. D-Dance would be a smart play, but we're gonna try to go for this KO here. We do outspeed, we do outspeed. Take it out. Let's go. Rotom is done. We, are, we still have our other... We have our Rotom stove guy in the back end right here. But we're going to get a buff it by the Sandstorm. And who is he going to rock out with? Who is he rocking out with? I would love to know. Real questions. Rapidash. Galarian Rapidash. This could be the death of us. This could be the death of us. Hopefully, we do outspeed here. And we're going to go for this Iron Tail. We're going to go for this Iron Tail. This is one of our last chances here. This thing does outspeed. It's going to play rough. Eat it. Eat it. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, uh, no, please, no, please, <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, this could be a crazy one, um, our chance right here would be confused right in it, that is our chance, we're gonna try to go lucky on here, we're gonna go for the luck here, confused right coming out here, gotta confuse it, gotta have this thing hurt itself probably twice in confusion, and then just murk on it, play rough coming out, eat it up, Eat it up, buddy! That up, boy. That up, boy. Confused right coming at you. Coming at you. Did we eat our citrus berry yet? We did. We did eat our citrus berry. I remember. We ate up the Arcanine hit and ate our citrus berry. Sandstorm does subside, which actually helps us, us out a little bit. And we got to go straight into this overheat here. We got to lower its special attack. Come on. Hurt yourself. Hurt yourself into confusion. No! Okay, we can eat this up. Oh, it avoided it. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord, guys. Yes! Yes, Rotom! We're gonna drop our special attack harshly, which is fine. We gotta go into another one. Hurt yourself in confusion, please! For the win. It all comes down to this. Jean's Rotom lines up. The Rapid Dash is confused. Will it hurt itself in confusion? It does! It does! And your boy, the back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back Pokemon Champion! 
Who else put jeans right here? Let's get it. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how it's done. Rolling out with that confused Ray. Want us to match. Hopping into our fourth and final match. This guy's rocking a Ferrothorn, Heat, Rotom, Dragapult, Titar, Mimikyu, which our Hexorus could potentially do some work on him, and an Angie Slash. Okay, first things first, our Hatterene is coming in here. Hatterene is definitely coming in here. Can eat up that Ferrothorn and that Angie Slash. It can do some work on it. Um, next call. What is my next call? I think we're going to go with the Hippodon. I think we're going to go with the Hatterene, Hippodon, and the Hexorus. I think that is the way to go here. And who do we think he's going to send out first? I think he's either sending out the Dragapult, potentially. Potentially the Dragapult. The Rotom. What is that Mimikyu? I'm going to say he's going off with that Mimikyu. So we're going to lead with the Haxorus here. We're going to bring our Hippodon in the back end. And then our Lifeform Hatterene. Or do we lead with the Hatterene? No. Well, I'm going to trust my instincts here. I'm going to trust my instincts here. And hope that he's rocking that Mimikyu right there. Because we got Mold Break on our Haxorus. We can hit through that this guy's. Easily, easily, and we do outspeed it. We do outspeed that Mimikyu. That's what we gotta save our Hexers for, because I think he will be rolling out with it. Well, let me grab a drink. Ah, let's go. <laughs> let's roll out here. Who's he sent out first? Show me the Mims. Nope, Rotom. That's fine. That's fine. Fire and Electric will not do too much work on us. I'm actually gonna go straight into an Iron Tail, right? I think I'm gonna go straight in. Or do I D dance? Or do I D dance? Let's go into a D dance. Let's Dragon Dance. Try to set up with my boy Haxorus. This is gonna go full switch. That's fine by me. This is why I went into the D dance. I was gonna go straight for the Iron Tail. I was gonna go for the Iron Tail in case he was swapping out into the Mimikyu. But I think it's gonna swap out into a Dragapult. Which would be smart. But show me the Mimikyu. I would love for you to show me that Mimikyu. Come on, show it. Show it. Is that it? No, Ferrothorn is going to come out against us right here. We're going to go set up a D-Dance right here. And then we're going to pop off into our uh, Hatterene, I believe. I believe we're going to pop off into our Hatterene here. Speed is raising and all that good stuff. Do we have any moves that could do some work on it? Not really. Not really. We're going to go back in to our Life Orb Hatterene here. And we're going to go into a Mystical Fire. That is the plan. That is the plan. But our special defense and our defense, I think, is pretty solid with the Hatterene. So I think we can soak up a hit here. But this thing will probably get two hits on us. Let's see what it is. He's going to go for the Leech Seed, which is fine. Did he miss? Oh, Magic Bounce! Oh, we! We just Magic Bounce this thing, but it doesn't affect it. Magic Bounce is awesome. If he would have burned us or something, the burn would have went on him, which is awesome, man. Which is awesome. But we're going to go into a Mystical Fire. He's going to go into a Gyro Ball here. We should be able to eat this up. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And now, we're going to do some work on you. See you later. Let's go, dude. What a play. What a play, dude. That magic bounce is so clutch. Say he would have went for the burn or something, it reflects the burn on them, which is awesome. Now let's see who he's going to use. We have our D-Dance Haxorus in the line, ready to go whenever. To be honest, I can always future sight with this Hatterene right here. Who's going to go with the Angie Slash? Oh, <laughs> dude, are you dumb or are you stupid? You dumb or are you stupid? Do we Dynamax here or do we roll Trick Room? I don't want to roll Trick Room. We're going to go with the Mystical Fire. I think we can eat up a hit. From this Angie Slash, this thing will be faster than us. It's going to go for a Dynamax. Jeez. Jeez, 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 jeez. This is why I bought my Hatterene. I sh kind of maybe should have went for the Dynamax to be able to soak up a hit. But there's still a chance of us soaking up a hit. I was thinking of rolling Trick Room, but I don't think there was any point. Because both of our Pokemon will do work against this thing. This is the only Pokemon that does need Trick Room. It's going to go into here and probably roll out with a Max Phantasm. Which is fine, unless he's rocking a uh, steel move, which is not fine. Max Phantasm, like I said, can we eat it up? Eat it up, Hadrian. Nope. Dead. Murked. Absolutely poo pooed on. <laughs> we could go into our Haxorus here. We could. We are D Dance. We will outspeed. Hit Pow Dawn. This thing is this thing. This thing's uh. This thing's not rocking Levitate. We could. Hey, we. We're gonna do that. We're going to do that. Actually, our, yeah, both of them are physical attackers. So we're going to roll into our Focus Sash. Well, the Focus Sash is gone into our Hexorus right here. And we're going to go. We should outspeed here. We're going to break the mold here. And we're going to go straight for this Max Quake here. We're going to go straight for this Dynamax Max Quake. And try to take out this bad boy considering we are attack plus one. But this thing actually might be able to eat us up. This thing might be able to eat a shot up here. And even if it does, I still think we can uh, eat up a shot from him. So we'll see right here. Well, we still have our Hippodon in the back, who is an absolute beast 
So if he's rolling with that T-Tar, we got that Hippodon to actually just counteract him and eat that bad boy up. Because Earthquake is super effective to the T-Tars, considering he is part rock type. Let's see, we should outspeed. Yes, we do outspeed. Our Max Quake is going to pop off here. Do some work on him. Let's see. Let's see. Come on. Yes! Mm, almost take him out. We just had to eat one shot here. We just have to eat one shot here. And what is going to raise our special defense does raise, which is perfect against him right here. And what's he rocking? A weakness policy. Oh, no. This could take us out then. He's rocking a weakness policy. Max Knuckles is going to come in here. I don't think... I think we can eat this up. Yep. Yep. Tasty. Tasty. Now you can say bye to your Angie Slash. You can say bye to your Angie Slash. We will outspeed this thing easily. Easily, baby. I can see him going for a Max Guard. Maybe holding this off for one more turn. That would be the smart play by him to Max Guard. He does Max Guard. Like I said, saw that coming all day. All day, little boy. But... Reason why he did that was to soak up our next hit. And then he's just going to let the Angie Slash die to our Max Quake here. And then, so we're not Dynamax for his next Pokemon. But here we go. Max Quake gonna pop out here once again. And we're gonna raise our special defense. Is that how it goes? Is that what we did with it? I was gonna withdraw, dude. I was gonna read it and go for like the dragon move or something. Who are you gonna send out here? Rotom, you smart little cookie. You smart little cookie. You're not rocking Levitate? You're dead then. <laughs> this thing's not rocking Levitate? Are you kidding me? Stupid. Stupid. Why would you go into him if you're not rocking levitate? That was the dumbest thing I might have ever seen. I think this guy is just going to hit the scoop button and call it quits. This win is in the bag for us. In the bag. We have to be the Angie Slash all day long. All day long. Unless it's rocking Shadow Sneak, but I don't think it's rocking Shadow Sneak. I think it's rolling King Shield with the Shadow Ball. But it's fine. EQ is going to come out here. And do we Dragon Claw him to finish off? Yeah, we're going to go for the Dragon Claw. I just want to say, wow. Let's go. Dragon Claw. He's gonna stand you. Did you outspeed me? Wow. What's your, what are you going for? He does outspeed us. Shadow Sneak. He is rocking Shadow Sneak. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, yeah, see, I didn't I didn't see rocking Shadow Sneak. I did not see that. Most of them do not. Now we go into here. So I think if he does Shadow Sneak us, we still eat it up. Right? Hey, pow down. Hey, pow down. Moto, Moto coming in for the win. Sandstream's gonna come out here. Start buffeting this man up. Uh, the real call is. I'm actually play this super, super safe. I'm going to go straight for a slack off. Because if this thing has the potential to kill me here. Our slack off can... Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was going to say, we're going for the slack off. So this thing, if this thing can survive a sandstorm, it's not going to survive the next hit. But there we go. Beautiful. 4-4-4 four, four, four was this team. We rocked out, guys. We rocked out. Absolutely murked with this team. Like, no lie. Just absolutely just shred it. But let's get it, guys. That's how it's done. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, make sure you smash that like button and support the channel by clicking that big red subscribe button. Also guys, let me know in the comment section down below what other Pokemon or teams you would like to see me play. Here's one last look at this team right here. If you guys want to rent it, the rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But that is going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out everyone.